everybody, welcome to episode 69. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't give them any any like warning that I wanted them to do that, and they just did it. That's the nicest thing that's ever happened on Ranwin Parked, the show where we showcase ads for cars from around the internet. I'm your host, Dodger, joined by Kurt J. Mack and Azike. Nice. Hello. We, uh, I don't think we did any of the grand plans we talked about for episode 69. <laughs> I don't even remember talking about we grand did, plans. We did multiple times. <laughs> we threw out some ideas, and I even, like, looked into trying to do it, and it just, no, it wasn't feasible. The one that we, I think the one that had the most traction was 69 ads for episode 69. <laughs> we were just talking about garbage collection it's true we could have just thrown out the garbage <laughs> i don't really do a lot of garbage collecting on ads because i have discord like anything that i feel like isn't good enough for the show i i feed it i feed those scraps to discord <laughs> you're Send welcome to the food disposal patrons <laughs> uh yeah that's that's pretty much but but kurt i know you have a, like a directory that goes way back yeah it's the problem of mine it's uh, <laughs> the problem. uh let me have Ranwan park the, the the oldest ad is from uh august 23rd 2019 <laughs> oh god and it's a uh, that's an 810 wagon in case you're curious <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's been sold already you think <laughs> i hope so yeah uh, I mean, if not, the price on it has gone up, like, sixfold since then. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, shall we look at some ads from the internet for cars? I had some really good Randwin Park stuff this time around, which mm. is, you know, apt considering this is Randwin Parked. Oh, right, oh. right. Yeah, I know. Sometimes <laughs> uh, sometimes I think we forget, like, the... the the nexus of why this show exists. It's just kind of been like, so what you been looking at this week? <laughs> uh, but this is a 1968 GMC handy van, I guess was the name for, what was the, what was the Chevy called? Uh, I don't remember, but I'm sure this is just a rebadge of that. Yeah. yeah. Like it wasn't just like a Falcon van or was that's, it something That's special? Ford. The Ford was the oh. e Econo oh, line. Yeah, yeah. The Chevy, yeah, yeah. I don't remember what the Chevy one was called. And I'm sure Camino will be upset. But this handy van, for sale, $1,100 or make offer, it non-runs and sitting, <laughs> you think? <laughs> uh, this one it is non-runs. This has got to be like one of the greatest jungle stories I've found. Like, yeah, it's growing mold and whatever, but look at this thing. Lurking. It's, yeah. This is, like, the perfect place to film some kind of cheesy horror movie, for one. Like, there's so many branches to trip on right here. And then creepy van. Um, but, no, it's grown in. It's surprisingly complete. It is. Like, and not even visibly that rusty, question mark? Yeah. Like, that, uh like very large trunk of a tree growing out from underneath the rear wheel well i'm glad you noticed that kurt because that's <laughs> yes. where I was, I was waiting to see if anybody noticed the very large tree growing out of the wheel well <laughs> yes so the tree was not there when it was parked that is actually impressive to me <laughs> I think the most impressive thing about this ad, though, is they went inside of it. Oh. That is shag on the headliner that is draped with cobwebs. And Why just... did they go back at night? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to film that. Why would you do that? Movie. I did not even... That didn't even click into my head that they, like... <laughs> like... I don't think that's just an artifact of having a flash on or something. No, it's, it's dark, dark. outside. Which makes the whole thing just feel even grosser. Like, it's... Like, yeah, where's the eyes peering out of the back seat right now? <laughs> uh, it's nasty. It nasty. Shag. Oh, there's the eyes. 
<laughs> on the plywood <laughs> bleeding oh. um <laughs> it gross it just it's just real gross they drug it out though what yeah it appears they what broke the windshield the... on the way out i was gonna say that looked that looked nicer in the early is it just the windshield that's broken it i think it's just like they bashed in the no i think it's just the windshield roof. which sucks because i bet you that's not an easy windshield to find <laughs> Um, that tree fought back. Yeah, no kidding. I guess they didn't bother like cutting the trees out of the way, <laughs> or they cut one and it fell on it. So GMC handy van might need a little bit of work, but the good news is you don't have to fight Jumanji to get to it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a good. One. That was a good one right there. The tree growing out of the wheel well really tickled me. <laughs> I like it when. When you can like, you can count the rings on a tree to see how long something's been sitting. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of counting rings, right. speaking of counting rings, wow, this that's weird, Kurt. <laughs> it is a little bit weird, isn't it? Um, I have a '69, nice, nice uh, Econoline 300 high top factory camper for only fifty five hundred dollars. Got the 302 V8 running project. I'm sorry, not a ran one parked. Uh, recent trans rebuild. Uh, front to back, six feet standing room. I'll still have to crouch slightly. I was just thinking, like, <laughs> mm, so close. <laughs> it, says, it says six feet plus, so there's a chance. There is right. a chance. Exactly in the middle where the arc yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You probably can't drive it home, though. I wouldn't. Uh, runs and goes forward and reverse strong. Okay. I Why don't wouldn't know you... what that means. Why wouldn't you drive it, then? <laughs> Maybe the tires. Maybe that it look... has no brakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Brakes, tires. I don't know. I'd drive this home. I didn't know that the, the van had the same, like, chrome front end that the trucks had. Like, it looks just like... It looks like a... Like a... Stretch version of the of the ramp truck front end, basically. Yeah, same same kind of style. Hello. Hello, man. <laughs> oh. That's yeah, these are all I mean, the okay. girlfriend, I I've been finding more vans recently. <laughs> Cuz the girlfriend like kind of wants something for like camping and mm. or, like going out uh, off maybe not off trail, but on trails and stuff. Something with a lot of tire sidewall. Something, yes, something that wants... can run over an object in the road. <laughs> yes, that too. And won't bend the rim that then you have to track down somewhere and it won't get here till Thursday. <laughs> and the dealership wanted to charge you $450 Jeez. for a rim. So I found one on Car Park um, for much less. And they wanted to also charge like $250 for one tire. What? Okay. Right, no. But, so yeah, so we're like we're bringing them all of these things because their their parts right. are too expensive. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna like source a tire from somewhere else. Um, anyway, that's anyway. neither here nor there. Anyway, I don't know what's been redacted here. I don't know what it could possibly be. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Confidential, classified government it's just information. A stack of passports <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I do see like a folder like i see something kind of binder so maybe it is some kind of like personal documents but it does have a high output heater though okay all right all these vans look like this yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's like that'd be nice no it's not nice no no actually no <laughs> Hello, C4 transmission. In before somebody comments, it's like, yeah, that's clearly a C6. You can tell by the fins. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Colin loves viewers. Uh, no, I just love car people. There's nobody... <laughs> there's Honestly, as a, as a car people, there is no more pedantic group of people than car people. <laughs> mm. Propane... Yeah, do not do connect not connect natural gas to this system. <laughs> Sick you. 
really cap this inlet. Well, not mute. <laughs> Suck you, really. <laughs> <laughs> nice. For the stove. Right, right. And there's like, I don't know what, that's like... Water? Water, uh, water gas. Vents? Yeah, the second one's the gas vent, I think. Mm, yeah, vent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, minimalistic living, we'll say. Mm, yes. <laughs> Ooh, that plate looks old. Yeah. That ain't that ain't been registered in a minute. Nope. Nope. There you go. A sixty-nine. Nice. Forty color line van. Speaking of slightly blurry and not been registered in a while. <laughs> 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 a 1991 Nissan 300ZX for $6,900. Nice. Nice. <laughs> this is the uh, nicest car I could find for $6,900. I did the same thing. I, I, I saved it for the last, though. Ah. Uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's... All right, all right. Let me let me decode here real quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I I can't tell from this picture. I don't think it's a two plus two though, because the gas storage is in the wrong place, or the right place, nice. I should say. That's um, I'm gonna say it's on its fifth engine. Uh, it's an NA that was originally an automatic. It does not run right currently, and every bit of the suspension is worn out, surrounded by eBay aftermarket parts. You are pretty much spot on. <laughs> um, it was a T-top. Were they all T-tops? I don't think no, so. No, you could get solid yeah, tops. But there were more common T-tops, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that looks pretty original. I don't know. I don't it's got know. The OEM, <laughs> it's got the OEM uh, radiator and everything. True. That is true, but... I still don't trust it. <laughs> it is an NA, but it's the drift build. Oh God, the drift build. <laughs> so it's got a hydro e-brake, uh, cam shaft shift. Yeah, knob? Ca cam cam shaft shift knob that looks like uh, it's too so long. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, that's probably from the previous engine that was <laughs> right. Before. That's from engine number three. <laughs> <laughs> There's your eBay uh, steering wheel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what is that spoiler is off a uh, that isn't that spoiler off like a three thousand GT or something? Or a yeah. or a stealth? Certainly ain't off a three hundred ZX. Mm -mm. Okay. It's, so like this car like hurts me because it looks like you could maybe rescue it. Yeah, it's rescuable. If you, if you're a, is it a sadist or a masochist? Which one is it? I always forget. <laughs> but here's your eBay suspension parts. Hey, hey, hey I, I know that stuff. I, yep. Mm-hmm. It's not good. No, <laughs> it's not. If you like your alignment to last three miles. <laughs> uh, so I feel like the price on that kind of car hasn't really moved much. Like... Depreciated 300Zs, NAs, have been the same price since I first got into, like, cars. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. There's a, there's a darn good reason for it. They're just... If you're gonna go through all the trouble of owning a car like that, you probably want one that's nice, turbo, and... Be able to afford someone else to fix it. Right, yeah. And you and, and you'd be in a point in your life where you don't fix it yourself. <laughs> Uh, and what a terrible, like, awful, terrible car to try to drift with, too. Yeah, they, they welded the diff and everything. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Not nice. Just ruin a 350Z again. Seriously. But what is nice, this has nothing to do with 69, but uh, I, I've been on the hunt to find Powers, the perfect temporary rallycross car that is enough of a mistake for him that he can love it, but he doesn't need to completely build it from the ground up like his current fleet of launches. 
So I found an 81 mm -hmm. Fiat mm -hmm. Lancia Beta Coupe for sale near me for some reason. I have no idea why. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's only $3,500. It looks slightly disrespected, but it also looks like it's mostly complete. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there's only two pictures of it. Um, but I felt like I needed to include it because it felt, it feels right. It feels wrong enough to be right for powers. It's got a tow hitch. <laughs> it does have oh. a tow hitch. <laughs> I don't know anything about what this is, though. I guess it's actually a Fiat? I don't know. It's, don't it know. might be listed as a Fiat because I doubt Lancia's in the drop down for Facebook. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Um, but coupe leather is? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't I don't know anything about this car, so I can't... I know nothing. This is one of those cases neat. where I've posted this ad in hopes somebody tells me about it. <laughs> I don't know if it's front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive. It, it says it's a manual. It looks front-wheel drive because it's got so it, much, like... Yeah. The, the front wheels are pretty far back and there's a big overhang. I don't Does know. Does it? But, like... If you can get a water pump from it from a guy that speaks English in the United States and like new shocks for it, maybe yeah. <laughs> uh, but it sat for a while, but I started it up and it was strong and healthy. It's been well taken care of and garage kept. All the miles were from long distance trips. Interior is in good conditions and I have all the components for the dash. Components. So they pulled the dash out of it apparently. I guess maybe to like fix it or get it recovered or something. Weight savings. Weight savings. I don't know. Pow powers, powers, come and get this. <laughs> it's been up for eighteen weeks. It'll probably take two grand now. I just think it's neat. I like the little. Uh, I don't know what that vent or yeah, the little uh, shelf for your documents in the in the in, in the, the trunk. trunk. Yeah, it is like. It is almost like this is the original body line of the chassis, and then this is, like, added on to it. Yeah. That's what makes me... See, I don't know anything. I'm This is all speculation. But I think this is a Fiat with a Lancia, like, body strewn over it or something like that to, to try and upsell it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> mm. I don't know. Please, mm. please tell us. Kurt, here's one supposed to be on Wikipedia right now, giving us all the dates. I am looking. There's nothing about it, <laughs> other than, like, maybe it had, like, 81 horsepower or something. <laughs> all right, so we need help. <laughs> uh, speaking of needing help. Speaking of needing help, how about this 1930 Ford Speedster lower price? My controller just threw itself off of my desk <laughs> because like, it was... Nope. It was upset with this, this style of trying to find <laughs> nice things. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I, I was trying to stick to a theme. It uh, runs and drives great. Nice header, intake manifold, carburetor, headlights, and brake lights. Supper fun. It's lots of attention. <laughs> I prefer dinner fun. <laughs> hmm. I Six grand, saw you get somebody. Half a car driving one of these on the road around me recently. I guess I was traveling during a Wingadinga Fest getting over with because there was all sorts of, like, you know, standard cruising cars. And somebody driving one of these, like, just just barely a car like this down the road, and I'm just like... <laughs> <sighs> I don't so think do I'm that like, adventurous. <laughs> do you think that, like, front cowl is, like, the only part left from the original car? I assume. And maybe the grill? But the grill could be from anything, too. Well, they've got another one right there in the garage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the full body. Is that the rest of it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> weight savings. It's a hot rod. Wait, wait, wait. Do they... That's like an old gas station, but it looks like that's just where the guy lives. Yeah. I, it it feels these... like they stole it, you know. <laughs> they reconstructed station, it. Uh, memorabilia. Yeah. I do like That's me an old gas station, but it does feel a little... Not enough to build one in yeah, your yard. Yeah, not, not enough to build one in my yard. Yeah, that's that's it. 
I can't say I've ever seen a dueling sandblasting station before. Oh, yeah, you can do it, uh, you know, <laughs> go on a date, do some sandblasting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have now realized that these seats are mounted to a sheet of plywood. Oh, are they? Very much so. The gray piece there? Mm. That, that's plywood, my friend. <laughs> mm. I'm looking at the rest of this guy's shop, and I, I don't care about the car anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but there's those nice headers. Nice. Uh-huh. And one I could heck of a throttle uh, 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 linkage as well. Oh yeah, how many how many I'm dozens of horsepower does this make? Oh look at the look at the rear end. That's adorable. <laughs> like my brain's trying to process like where the gears are in that. And it's like that's not, <laughs> not enough space. No, no gears, just gear. Yeah, a gear. <laughs> There you go. Nice. 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 Yeah. <laughs> stretch. It was a stretch. <laughs> I have a Renwin Park. I think, is this the biggest Renwin Park we've had? Maybe by weight. <laughs> I think we've had buses. Oh, there might have been a bus. Yeah. But, yeah. So it's an 18, or 1984 AMG E923? 925 question mark? <laughs> um... So it was running when parked over a year ago, stored inside. Um, this will be auctioned off during a storage auction on January 22nd at Redacted, because I think this is the same unit where I have my cars. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> so fitting. <laughs> Maybe and I just be... confirmed that I have a receipt that it's not one of my units for sale. Um, <laughs> so hopefully they, they auction off the right unit. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe you should just buy the unit and just like absorb this as part of it. Yeah, no, this is way, no. I have no desire to own this thing. Um, but I bet it still starts. It's got a Cummins in it. <laughs> but like, yeah, I don't, it's just weird to me to have a one of these things parked in a storage thing in like <sighs> yeah suburban texas <laughs> yeah well, those are wait no those are like service dates i think it says oh yeah. four i thought it said two four at first and i was like wait is it like still good well, i think like... the top one says 2015 here Oh, 15. Oh, I see it now. Oh, no, this... that's, no, I was looking in the top right. That might be the serial I'm looking but at. But this is 1-3, December 04. 04, yeah. So, it's been a while. <laughs> but it's rust-proofed. Important. That is important. That's it's a Cummins. Got an engine. Somebody educated would be like, oh, that's this Cummins, and I'm not that person. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of DeBoss garage and like i know what these parts are now he i mm, <laughs> not a fan i've determined <laughs> of of a not a fan of diesel stuff i just can't it's interesting but i just can't get into it it's just reason. so different that i i like watching it danger <laughs> yes danger. danger starts at two but this why is between is, 20 and 30 everything why is the danger so fine. phallic <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> it's the military. You got to keep entertained somehow. That's yeah, true. That's it true. has anti lock brakes. Oh yeah, seventeen thousand miles. Could be. Is that? Yeah, that's a lot for one of these. Yeah, really. Who? From the Wait, world's gears in that one. From the tiniest differential to an entire planetary set. That's a thing yeah. right there. I guess it's set up for... Yeah, it's dual axles, too. You can see the pass-through. So you could put a third axle on there, I guess, if you wanted. Oh, I see. Just, like, that's yeah. a flange to power another. Oh. I guess I never really considered how that looked when you have dual-powered axles next to each other. I think... Yeah, I think it looks different, like, depending on whatever one, but... Yeah. Also, totally. look at all those leaves. It's been leaking for a minute. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it's been a year, that that's 
nothing. Probably takes like three gallons to fill that thing up. <laughs> True. <laughs> Boy, it's in there. Mm-hmm. And the reason I was very suspicious of this particular unit is that one random, like, power thing on just the tin sheeting. Mm -hmm. How it's kind of, like, sketchy there. Yeah, that's how ours is. <laughs> <laughs> but I think they're all like that. It's got good tires on it, though. Yeah. And those are expensive. I mean, everything about this is expensive. Yeah. To do nothing. <laughs> yeah. It's an automatic, I guess. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it's an Adam Allison transmission. The one part that'll work. It is true. Speaking of the one part that will work. Powers! <laughs> 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 now this one, this one's truly a mystery. A 1994 Fiat Lancia Delta II? Rare Lancia 2.0 Delta. Runs great. Belt, skiers, tensioner, bearings replaced within the last year. No AC. Belgium import. Clear title. Alcantara seats. New Milano forces sale. What's a Milano? Is that a... Is that a... Uh, Isn't that a Alfa Romeo? Alfa Romeo? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> New Mil it just showed up one yeah, day. I gotta sell it. <laughs> <laughs> um... If the ad is out, the car is for sale. Ask for Dave. This is this is a weird thing. I mean, I really like it, but again, having rallied a kind of imported, hard to find parts for a car, it was weird. But I was not expecting this weird. But it is a weird. But <laughs> look at these Alcantara seats. Nice. It's nice. Okay, it, here. Pretty plain. Like, not... It's not too crazy or anything. And then, like... Yeah, you can see the headliner is a little droopy. And, like, it's well-worn. So it's not too nice to ruin. Look at the but leaks in the sunroof. If you covered the interior in, like, dust and sand, I would feel a little bad. I wouldn't feel bad at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... I guess it's, like... A cano box trim, because there's nothing like too crazy about well, this it thing. Like a CD player, right? Is that not? No, that's not what. Yeah. Yeah, that might be a CD player. Yeah, for ninety four, and it's got like fancy seats. This looks like the nice trim model. I'm saying it's not like a super fancy car. Like this is this is probably no, like no. their base model style car. There's this engine. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you one thing about it other than it's. A 16 a valve. Cam two liter. Yeah. Um, I think they uh, sound good. I don't know. I don't know why this is. I this think is... they put that same engine in like everything though, which is good if you need parts. The the valve cover looks very familiar to the um, yeah to like the Integrale in those. Just mm -hmm. this is a non turbo. Go back to one of the side shots. Are those S13 SE wheels? They look very <laughs> similar, but they're not, they don't have any curve or anything to them. True, true. Very of the era. I guess my only theory on stuff like this is somebody that moved here from overseas and brought it with them, or like a family member's car that they somehow like imported because. When did the 25 year rule go into effect? I don't know. I don't know when that kind of started or sprung up. I know it's been in effect ever since, like, I first got into cars because I remember going to, like, different shops and stuff, looking for 240 parts, and there was always a token R32 Skyline just, like, stuffed in the back of a warehouse somewhere where when you saw it, the person that owned the place would be like, don't you dare tell anybody. <laughs> it was like... I, I knew a guy that had two R34s in pieces, and he was in the process of reassembling them. Ah, uh, memories. Nin 1998, apparently. That was when it was... So, hmm. yeah. When the 25-year rule was enacted. This is a 94. Yeah, so, so it was probably under that gray market or, like, whatever. So, yeah, when it was easier. Yeah. Stupid Mercedes. <laughs> Wait, I don't know the story. What did Mercedes do? Uh, Basically, it was cheaper to import a gray market 
Mercedes, oh, like God. from Europe, then a br- buy a brand new one. <sighs> Capitalism. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> so they uh, pushed some of laws through. Oh, sad. Sad, sad, sad. Weird thing. This is a weird thing. Why is this a weird thing? Good rally cross car. <laughs> <laughs> I got no signal right. for this one. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. So I don't either. I forgot. I don't even know what it is. But it's probably has a nice interior. Oh, God. Kurt. <laughs> no, no, this more, is just a... no more theme episodes ever. <laughs> <We're done. laughs> I'm like, oh, no. I'm gonna. They're going to fire me if I don't stick to the theme. <laughs> Lo and behold. It was you that stuck to the theme and got fired for it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because I stuck to the theme. Now this one I just like because of this picture. <laughs> we had a lot of snow here, and this this is a funny. This is a funny. It is funny. I can't figure out which part I'm looking at. I believe it's the front. Did they... Oh, they're cans. Oh, yeah, they, they are cans. cans. I was like, why are the tail lights up there then? <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a like a sticker or whatever, and like an app, but God. I appreciate this. Mm, that's that's what it looks like. What do we think about these? I think they are incredibly boring. They're incredibly hard to kill, but they also never run right. Mm. Yeah. That's pretty much my <laughs> I think of they're them. less boring than they used to be before this sort of type of vehicle ceased to exist. I guess. But it's probably like... If you don't want to be a Wrangler guy, you should probably be a, a Cherokee, a guy. Cherokee guy. Yeah. It, yeah. Also, this one has many more medals than Powers' is Cherokee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you find one that has, like, floorboards in it, <laughs> you're kind of <laughs> winning. <laughs> they, they, they'd be rusty. Similarly, how about these? The, the trucks are cooler just because they're quirky and different. Uh, but yeah. they're pretty much the same thing. It's right? the same thing. It's the same <laughs> yeah. exact vehicle, yeah. And, yeah, that's the, what, 4-liter? It's the 4-liter straight 4 with a very rudimentary, like, electronic fuel injection system that, like, kind of works. They Why leak. do they always put these stupid LED I headlights? I hate those so much. <laughs> they're awful. I would show up to this to buy it and be like, I will give you a thousand dollars more if you can find the actual oh, headlights for it. There oh, they, they are. have them. Yeah, this is they before they ruined it. Had them. Yeah. What? Those wheels are extremely familiar. Yeah, they're from a new Jeep. I, yeah, they're modern. Are they? Jeep, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. There's also the two door. Uh, yeah, the two door ones. SUV. I mean, it's it's a style preference. Like it's just. Mm. Do you ever have people in a back seat? No? Okay, well then get the two-door. Because <laughs> you got, you know, you get Do you, a little bit it's like, shorter. But my also thing is if you get a pickup with a camper, why not just get the SUV? Mm-hmm. Right. That one looks nicely maintained, at least. Uh, there was a bunch of wires off to the side. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's a Jeep. <laughs> It just I, that might things. be stock. The Chrysler does some. Are you talking about stuff. the stuff over here in the fender well? Because yeah, that looks factory. <laughs> yeah, actually, all this does look factory. Yeah. Like <laughs> when I said they're rudimentary, other than, it's other than those uh, coolant hoses mm-hmm. for the heater. I guess they're yeah, they're a mess. Yeah, why does Chrysler do that? I, I, Chrysler and GM are really bad about this. It's like it's probably true because all the departments like. You have the engine department, and then there's the guy that has the washer bottle, and the guy that does the battery. They don't talk to each other. (laughs) (laughs) There's, like, one guy that has to figure out where all the vacuum hoses and lines go, and they just kind of just throw them on top. Mm -hmm. I hate it so much. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, this is... It's It's nice. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's, like desirable right desirable or or worth that much money or is it actually worse than like a pathfinder probably not it's just not as quirky and japanese and you know 
runs. <laughs> uh, something completely different. A 1982 Corvette. Is this for your brother? Yes. Do it. Did did he start talking about these? Did I miss this? Yeah, it was in Discord. I was I was very supportive of this idea. Oh, I must have missed this. But yeah, apparently he's decided that he wants a C3. But specifically a uh, 80 to 82. Apparently. So, specifically they the worst ones. I don't. He said they're the best ones for some reason. <laughs> I, I, so like with you, I learned way too much about Ford stuff and part numbers and differences between the years. I don't want to dedicate brain space to Corvettes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because uh, it's so it's much like easier, guys. though. But it's like 911 guys, where they're like, oh, but in 81, they had this option. And I don't know, but I think it looks nice. And I like the color. I mean, there's something different with Corvettes, though, because, like, these are just universally hated. So <laughs> nobody's going to care what you do to it. Any of the late C3s are just like, yep, that's. A shame. I don't know what's hated about them. Though. They made like 110 horsepower. <laughs> well, sure, yeah. To a three-speed automatic I realized transition. That because of the stupid smog, and apparently 82 was automatic only. I just mm -hmm. realized they put a later vet badge on it. Um. Oh yeah. But beyond the choked V8 and 80s GM plastics, I don't really know what's wrong with them. I think they look nice. Yeah, I mean, I've always liked this body style a lot. Yeah, like, uh, and I found several pretty quickly. Um, Honestly, this seems is like, expensive, but it's been repainted nicely. Yeah, so I, of the ones that I looked at, I just looked at a few, and this was like the nicest color. So this is the one I picked. Um, it looks like five to six grand will get you at least the later ones. Uh, it's decent, but something's wrong with it. I'm sorry. This picture is so right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then, uh, like, eight grand is, like, a decent runner. And then, like, 12 to 15 is a nice one. And then, like, 20 is, like, numbers matching perfection or whatever. Or there's something quirky about it, like, it's the big locker. I don't mm -hmm. know. And finger for your bingo. Finger for your bingo. <laughs> but yeah, I, other than being a choke V8 with an automatic, I think it'd be funny. I think it's also like the chassis got real old. Like it was, it was. Oh yeah, because they hadn't made them since like sixty something. Right. They it, this the C3 was real long in the tooth by the time it was you know, on its way out. So. But I thought it'd be funny if he got a C3 and then I just pulled him in a giant wagon. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Got no, yeah, I, I had a friend in high school that got one, probably an 81 or an 82, somewhere in that, in that range. And uh, it was his, like, not a midlife crisis, but that, like, screw you, I'm successful vibe, like, just trying to mm -hmm. show off. And I seriously walked him in a single cam 240. Like, yeah. <laughs> it was slow. <laughs> it was sad, and he sold it within a year. <laughs> <laughs> we should do it. That's I, I've always thought that would be a fun resto mod pro project, is to, like, take yeah, one of the crappy years one. Put a 427 in it or something. Yeah, do something fun with it. Cause don't yeah, like you said, no one cares about it, and they're mm -mm. cheap. Yeah, I mean that's anymore in today's society. I think the most fun things to modify are the things that everybody hates, because then you don't take any flack. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Like this. <laughs> Here you go. The best thing I could find for sixty nine hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Hyundai Velo Velo I always forget how to say this. Veloster? Veloster. Veloster Remix Coupe. Three door. Firm price. <laughs> Runs and drives. <laughs> Rebuilt title. Uh if you're if you're if you're listening, not watching, it's orange. It's 
on 22s? Fours. They're at least 20. It's hard to tell because it's actually a small car. Right. So they could um, be just 20s. They are orange swirl wheels with big mm -hmm. orange fender flares, orange badges, orange wing, rubber band tires, and nice. some lovely clashing orange and red interior. <laughs> Are the orange pieces, did they just paint those? I would say so. I'd say and so. then I guess that's just the stock red yeah. partial leather seats. I don't think this was an orange car to begin with. Yeah, probably not. Bumpers all clipped out like the, yeah. Because yeah. this was a <laughs> flipped car. Like this was a, a, a rebuilt title car. So like, yeah, not, uh, couldn't they find a whole lot of good $6,900. rivet yeah. on the fender. Oh, yep, very much so did. <laughs> yep, not it's rivet. So, it it doesn't even match. Like, there's the stock fender flares. Mm hmm And then there's the tacked-on fender flares. Mm -hmm. And they don't match mm -mm. by any, like, mm -mm. geometric mean. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Can't imagine there's any suspension travel. <laughs> no. Well, you say that, but those tires are so thin. I find like, it I bet you if highly you unlikely. It would still fit in the fender wells. Maybe, yeah, because they have them so far down. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there's going to be some of those little, you know, bolt-on spacers between the springs to jack it up. Mm. I think you're going to find those in there. And that's why I didn't do the '69 challenge, <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, get that challenge episode um, <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me you're the master of the 69 challenge <laughs> whoa whoa <laughs> how about 69,000 kilometers See? on your 1998 Pontiac Sunfire and who's that guy who's that guy in that car looking at us yeah. <laughs> beef <laughs> Is that Bubba? <laughs> For only uh, thirty five hundred dollars. Man, I forgot how ugly Sunfires were with those headlights. Yeah. <laughs> so, this one angle. Do you think this car was repainted, or is that just GM's color matching prowess? I'm going with GM. <laughs> I'm going with that's yeah, how it a, rolled off factory line. Uh, no issues, no accidents. Mm. Clean mm -hmm. angle. Yeah. No, yeah, I yeah. think that's that awful pearlescent paint that just never matched on these. <laughs> oh, this interior. God, I've, there's so few bubbly interior pictures that make me, like, feel repulsed as much as these, just because I remember how uncomfortable they were. <laughs> you don't like the, the Cavalier uh, seats. Yeah. The insane Asylum aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's padded and no sharp edges. Anywhere. And I can't believe they put a tack in the ones with a manual. I, I'm surprised by that. Such frills. I guess it's they a Canadian. Connor, so I guess, yeah, it's yeah it is Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> 69,000 kilometers. That's like nothing. Mm hmm. Yeah. Ours said it takes. It's going to be at least three or four miles. <laughs> <laughs> at least. Uh, nice, nice. Don't go back. I don't want to see you again. <laughs> again, you want, no, don't. You want more look at it. No, don't look at that dog again. <laughs> and the dog, the dog was cute, <laughs> but uh, didn't save it for me. So this is just a quickie. Um, I wanted this to be the best ad, but like there wasn't enough pictures. <laughs> oh, there's yeah. enough pictures. I think <laughs> Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Taken in the dark with KFC cup. Oh boy! Oh, it's is that the, like the uh, Brickyard logo, like the Indianapolis 500 logo? I, I have no idea. This is all the pixels I got, but made into a Mountain Dew thing. They took the Brickyard logo and made it Mountain Dew. <laughs> that takes <Yeah>. balls. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well.
we have made it to where we review last episode's best finds of the episode where Kurt had Shaq's Shaq. Superman. Was it Shazam? I think we got called out for this. Mm, it was Shazam. And Shazam, not, not Kazaa. Kazaa. <laughs> <Kazaa. laughs> Wait, Kazaa is the Kazam. MP3 thing. Yeah. Uh, where uh, uh, Paint was very surprised to find out that Shaq had such a, uh, like, brand like that <laughs> like because you didn't realize the whole superman thing uh zk had the like electrothon <laughs> marathon electric car thing and i had what i thought was one of the best fast and the furious tribute cars i've ever seen and what i've learned is not a lot of Fast and Furious fans out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was Dunsky. Um, ZK takes the win with 48 votes over Kurt with 42. Mm. Close one. Miles per gallon over the gas guzzler. It, <laughs> Isn't that infinite? <laughs> it, it's what appeals to kids these days. It's all about the electric cars. It's like, uh, that's like the go-kart Tesla. Yeah. That's what, that's what the, like every kid wants a Tesla now, so they want, they want a electric marathon racer as their project car as a kid. We're relevant. <laughs> <laughs> I'll continue sliding down my slippery slope of irrelevancy with. Oh, <sighs> uh, this is, yep. Okay. Yep. It's a, <laughs> it's a thing. So this is a let me let me let me just read the the article the article the description the listing there we go that's the word I was looking for last time posting sailor trade it started as a 1972 VW Beetle all custom built rat rod 350 motor new rebuilt 700 R4 2004 S10 chassis power steering disc brakes new Flowmaster Get in and go anywhere. She runs and drives perfect. Bed cover goes up with the remote. New tires all the way around. Old school slot wheels. Sevens in the front. Tens in the rear. Might train for other rat rod. Hot rod. Hot rod. <laughs> old school Camaro. Chevelle. Nova. Rat rod. Old trucks. 3100. Buick. Pontiac. Nothing newer than 1972. But aren't all the 3100s newer than 1972? Clearly. They think 72 was the best year for everything including this so what i'm what i gather out of it is a s10 chassis maybe maybe with a bug body it doesn't cut have up on five it blood? Mm -hmm. we'll continue but, to look through the pictures and try to figure out what is going on here so they cut the front and back off of a bug made the front look like a rat rod truck and the rear was like a custom standard rat rod bed. bed. And that's an S10 chassis because you can see the frame rails. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But um, it's not their fault. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't, you can't blame them for this. <sighs> well, I mean, if there was. If there was ever a motivation for me to pick up a Bible, I guess this is it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is. I don't. You're gonna say you like it, don't? Aren't you? No, I don't. You like the it? Proportions are wrong. No, yeah, it's real ugly. <laughs> it's. I, I. I'm just trying to, f like, put together my thoughts on rat rods. It's like everyone tries to be unique, but. In the same way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well put. And like, um, rat rods, when they're actual rat rods, is interesting. I mean, I'm sad, but it, I say that and it just sounds like pedantic. Like, it sounds like, yeah. oh, you don't know rat rods. <laughs> but it's like... Name the top ten rat rods <laughs> right. of all time. It's like, this is, this is just drunk creativity rather than yeah. actually trying to make something that's like you know bare bones and and kind of like barbaric and 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 rough and ragged that's what a rat rod is this is this is an s10 that you just made ugly 
That's not Ur. a rat rod. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I don't know. It's just like... I hope they had fun building it. Because, <laughs> like, the end result Everybody is had not... fun. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. And, of course, I didn't... I, I cropped off the price, but I think it was over $10,000. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think, like, it, just rat rods have so much personalization to them, I guess, that you they just don't make sense to sell because it's you. And I think and I, that's fine on yeah, its own. Yeah. It's just that when people try to sell them and then get this, like, attitude, like, last time posting... Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. always this attitude of like, "What's wrong with you people? Why don't you want this?" <laughs> <laughs> like, well, maybe it's, it's time it's to look like within. The, no, don't people don't want to buy modded cars because they're the? It's to your own preference or whatever. Right. And yeah. then Rat Rod is like that from the ground up. So why would anyone else want this? Womp womp. Maybe for the wheels and the engine? You mean the the Kenner Ken Kenner Ken... The wheels, not the tires. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to figure out how to say this. Kinergy? Kinergy Kiner STs? Yeah, that's a thing. They're hand cooks, I think. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Never heard that name before. I, I nobody, nobody Look, they're that. not stretched. They are kind of stretched, actually. Those are ten inch wheels in the back, I think. They do feel like they have a little stretch on them. Just a little. But they have enough sidewall to make up for it, right? Mm-hmm. Jim. Mm -hmm. Jim. <sighs> yeah, nobody's going to vote for that. Don't don't worry about it. Just, it's just, oh, yeah, I forgot about how oh. bad the interior is, too. That's an oil drum. I do appreciate the barrel doghouse or transmission tunnel. Do you? Yeah, I I, I appreciate that detail. I don't okay. like the cup holder. <laughs> <My husband. laughs> Why is it plastic? Literally everything in this car, and there's a. Oh god! Hey, uh, oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> the devil made him do it. <laughs> uh, that's too funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think this. I I lost. Sight, I'm afraid of the theme that I so desperately was clinging to, but this is like kind of an interesting thing <laughs> that I found. Yeah. Um, a mm -hmm. rare uh, 59 Audio Bianchi Bian Bianchina <laughs> Transformable. Closer. Yeah. <laughs> Special for nineteen thousand okay. dollars. Um, gorgeous. Uh, Fiat Pirelli, etc. 1959, based on the Fiat 500 rear mm -hmm. engine, two-cylinder, 500 cc's, um, a whopping 19 horsepower. Uh, That's all you need. A couple years ago from a flipper. Uh, yada yada. Bought it back up the shape. Sourced a hood from Greece. And yada, Mr. Yada. Fiat. And then after, this is the important part, after driving her on weekends and shows for a couple of years, I sat her on a shelf in my shop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this person is using she and her a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all these people. Um, but yeah, this is weird. That's weird. Interesting. I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> That's not even like a big F series. <laughs> yeah, I think Bunko wanted one of these. I think That's pretty funny, ZK. Them... Okay. That's pretty <laughs> I... funny. <laughs> yeah, you got to admit, that's pretty funny. <laughs> um, I think there was one on Bring a Trailer. I don't know if it was the Transform Mob or whatever. <laughs> Which I think is the, uh, it's like a soft top. 70 miles down. an hour, are they on drugs? Kilometers, probably. No, it said miles. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it's a Fiat 500 with like a different body on it. And they're cute. It's cute. It reminds me of the, the Fiat 500s that Jollies, are they? The like beach cruiser things? Yeah. Mm. 
Mm. Reminds me of that kind of that kind of winga dinga. Dynamo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dynamo. <laughs> Seventeen hundred miles could be. <laughs> Little tiny engine. That's how you make eighteen horsepower, huh? Nineteen. I think it was eighteen. <laughs> it is up from the standard seventeen. Ah. Doesn't like an actual horse make about like nineteen horsepower? <laughs> I thought it was like four or five, but yeah, it, horsepower it, yeah. is a weird number. <laughs> Comes with extra rubbers. Hmm. No, oh, it comes with extra lots. Extra parts so you got, if you want to rebuild that soft top. Yeah, I was going to say, is that the soft, the mechanism, I guess? Yeah. I'm trying to imagine driving this around the Pacific Northwest. Like, mm. that's just dangerous. Even on side roads, <laughs> that's dangerous. <laughs> There's going to be hills that you rapidly lose speed on. He's just geared real low. On a shelf. <laughs> on the shelf. I am pleased. I am pleased that they actually have a picture of it on a shelf. With not that much wood supporting it. No. <laughs> like, well, you've heard of Elf on a Shelf. <laughs> I don't have a follow up to that. But this... Auto Bianchi on a balcony? <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Please type that out for our title. <laughs> 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 That's good. How did they get it up? It looked like the ceiling fan was in the. Oh, oh there's the fork left. Okay. Yeah, they got a forklift. Don't you? Yeah. Where's your forklift, loser? I want one. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? <clears throat> so, is oh, cool. your new. Um, GM electric Hummer too expensive. Make your own with a 1978 Hummer homemade, only fifteen hundred dollars. Cool home built Hummer has quarter inch steel plating all the way around the body, sitting atop a 78 Bronco 4x4 chassis. Has engine, transmission, and transfer case. We'll need a little bit work before it's running. Good base to start. 30 inch, 31 inch all terrains in good shape. Blah 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 blah. We'll break down any barrier, um, flexing <laughs> USA's flag. Um, <laughs> a steel bar for easy towing behind your truck. Pulls great, asking 1500 bucks. Easily can get that from the scrapyard. Ha! Ha! No, I question that. It's somebody with a large metal object in his backyard that he can't get rid of. There's those good tires. Got to admit, a bit sad it's not actually electric. I, I think something happened. Something happened? Ah, my internet cut out for a second, uh, so oh. my clicks weren't registering. Yeah. You know how uh, heavy that thing is? Yeah. I was going to say, you know what could use some fourth inch steel plating is ice cream trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Call back. <laughs> you had to be there a few episodes ago. <laughs> oh, the window net is just stupid. Yeah, I'd top. like to keep your head in, but not the rest of your body. The bikini top for the one middle passenger. Mm -hmm, who doesn't have a place for their legs. <laughs> right. I like to think that the seats are mounted in like those weird angles. And none I of them actually facing forward. feel like they kind of are. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, heavy steam pipe That's as the roll cage. Heavy steam pipe. I'm surprised these tires are still up. Like, ha ha. Has a working tailgate. I could get that much money in scrap, but they might be right. <laughs> <laughs> Little uh, cargo area back there, too. Look at those welds. Really not, not bad, bad, actually. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> well, they got like, a lot of practice. But... <laughs> yeah. Do you think they used it? Do you think it, like... Do you think they took a family out in this? I don't know. We have no it is pictures, a, do we? No. It, it is a Bronco, so like there, there's really not much to it. There's the no headlights or anything. Horribly compressed. Right. 
This is just like one of those, like, like you were saying that, uh, drunken creativity, mm -hmm. but then they, I guess they don't own a metal bender or something. <laughs> drunken creativity, but I think they ran out of beer. <laughs> they sobered up halfway through. I find this to be more creative than that rat rod, though. Yeah. I, and like this, it's stupid, but I feel like on, like, if you had, like, a hunting property or something, this would be perfect. Yeah. It's it borderline good stupid. Yeah. You borderline. might need a bigger top for the sun. Maybe. <laughs> uh... All right, so so to review, we have an awful rat rod. How to ruin both an S10 and a Super Beetle, which is really impressive to make two of those things worse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or we have... My power powers combined. <laughs> I need you to say it, ZK. What? I can't, I can't remember how to pronounce Kurt's car. Oh, uh... I'm saying it completely wrong. But no, it's, it's right. Auto Bianchi. Okay. Auto sure. Bianchi something or another. Or the world's heaviest Bronco that runs just as good as every other Bronco. Vote in the poll posted down below in the description to choose your best find pick of the episode. And I do believe that is our episode, the first of 2022, where... I, I honestly feel like this is the year. This is the year of Ranwin Parked not buying any cars. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like Kurt's going to ruin it. Ah, <laughs> uh, what, what if it's not registered in my name? <laughs> Fair. I'll, I'll let that slide. <laughs> uh, all right, everybody. Thank you for joining us for this nice episode of Ranwin Parked. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Nice. Nobody has a better nice than Kurt. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the sixty-nine. You're just being nice. Sixty-nine world champion. <laughs> <laughs>